Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your weekend advice for the weekend of December 2nd, 3rd and 4th, 2016. Thank you very much for being here and uh, thank you for all your support. Um, it really does uh, matter to me, it's very important to me. And so I wanted to take a second to say thank you. And um, let's have a look at the energies for the weekend. It looks like a beautiful message um, reminding us to bring in love and empathy in everything that we do, okay? Um, it looks like a beautiful weekend for forgiveness, for honest communication, to spread love and joy uh, to everyone around us, whether we know them or not, um, to really show empathy, okay, for the people in our lives or um, the people around us show love to those who need it pretty much okay um, is the message for the weekend um, it is it is how we grow it is how we grow because when we show someone empathy what that means is we set aside our judgments and really open our minds and our hearts to put ourselves in that person's shoes and experience the world through their eyes through their senses and so that really opens up the mind and it really opens up the heart and it kind of lifts us up as well because um, it takes us out of a place of perhaps, you know, judgment or fear or reservation um, because, you know, we fear what we don't understand or we can misinterpret what we don't know. And so when we open ourselves through empathy to another person's point of view that really raises our spirit it raises our vibration um, and takes us to a place of love compassion and understanding and so that's i feel what the message is about for us this weekend so i'm going to show you the cards and then get into the messages so we have turquoise um, awaken your empathy the number is 34 and 34 is our truth our personal truth and someone else's truth, perhaps, um, that we can uncover this weekend. We have pets. You love and understand animals. And for me, yes, of course, um, pets show you unconditional love, always. They don't judge, you know, it's just unconditional. And, you know, yes, this can be a card that reminds us of that and of the fact that we too can show unconditional love or that's what we um, could be striving for. Um, but also this is a reminder of innocence, okay? Innocence, purity, friendship, compassion, patience that comes from that place of innocence, okay? When it comes to tarot cards, we have the Ace of Cups, all about love, forgiveness, we have the hangman and the hangman can represent, you know, the process of showing someone empathy, let's say when we suspend our beliefs, our thoughts, our, our ideas, our emotions, um, and try to understand the other person's point of view. The king of swords and the king of swords is all about having a clear mind and a new understanding, uh, being the diplomat, because now we can see multiple points of view and we can truly be the diplomat, okay? Then we have brilliant idea with Archangel Uriel. Yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. And clairsentience, um, you know, which is, it, it makes me think of empathy with Archangel Raguel, notice your recurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. So notice how you feel, notice what you sense this weekend. You may get a brilliant idea by doing so. Okay, this brilliant idea can be an idea that you have and it's just a direct um, encouragement. Yes, go ahead with that idea. It is divinely guided, but it can also represent an epiphany a breakthrough which is what happens when we open our minds to other people's points of view other people's um, feelings other people's experiences and it's not easy it can be difficult to truly be 
empathetic because, you know, everyone has their own life and their own ideas and their own pains and obstacles and joys, okay, to experience and to deal with. And so why would you want to take on someone else's pains or become aware of just what they're going through? But ultimately, um, we do grow through this because it gives us perspective. It gives us a new way of seeing things. It gives us compassion, uh, humility, perhaps, gratitude when we see that, you know, it can be a lot more difficult than it actually is for us or that we actually are very blessed. Other people perhaps are suffering more than we are um, and uh, are struggling more than we are. It gives us compassion. It gives us patience and it allows us to show love and understanding. Okay, so the Ace of Cups, of course, talks about love and a new beginning that is of an emotional nature. Okay, so it can be a new way of experiencing things because now we're tapping into our clairsentience, okay, and how we feel about things and how we feel about people, listening to our intuition more, okay which is similar energy once again with the turquoise card because this talks about accessing inner knowing, accessing inner wisdom by showing empathy, okay? By allowing ourselves to see several perspectives, not just our own. And it can be a new beginning where um, we move forward from a more compassionate place or trying to be more understanding or trying to open our hearts more or trying to open our minds more to what other people are experiencing as well as what we're experiencing. So the Ace of Cups can be a brand new way of living uh, where we interact with other people and with the world, with nature, with our pets, with everything and everyone um, from a more loving perspective or at least with an openness Okay, where, you know, there's a difference when we move forward towards something with reservation in our hearts versus moving forward to something with, um, with an open mind, with an open attitude. Okay, take precautions, of course, don't be foolish, but be open to the experience. Okay, there's a very big difference and it, it can be a lot more rewarding uh, to embrace something um, that we don't know a lot about or nothing about. We know nothing about that experience and it can be a lot more rewarding to embrace it, to learn as much as we can from it by going into it with an open mind than to put our understanding or our judgments or our fears and, and limitations and doubts and insecurities upon this new situation because we won't be able to to actually see what that situation is. We will see what we project onto it, okay? Um, the Hangman is a very spiritual card. It talks about a time of pause, okay? And again, just giving our minds a rest and trying to expand our minds, trying to um, see other possibilities, to see other points of view. What the Hangman is, it's observation and learning from what we observe, okay? We're not necessarily doing something, we're not manifesting something, we're not creating something, we're not trying to make something happen. It's more of sitting back and just observing how things happen, how people interact, what they think, what they feel, and then kind of reflect that and see what that tells us about ourselves, what that tells us about that other person, what that tells us about the world in general, and so on and so forth. That there's a world of, of knowledge um, to be found when we go into a situation with an open mind and an open heart. And I feel that that's what the hangman represents for us um, this weekend. The possibility to gain enlightenment by taking a step back, not projecting, ourselves on a situation and just with a clear mind and an open mind allowing for that situation to reveal itself to us okay and with the king of swords this is moving forward with more clarity with a clear mind and an open heart okay 
that's how we will be moving forward after this weekend, after the epiphanies that happened for us this weekend, because I do believe it's going to be a weekend of um, personal realizations and epiphanies, a weekend of enlightenment, absolutely, with, these, with this beautiful energy. And it will bring about new perspectives, new ways of seeing things. It will bring us to a point of maturity, okay, where at least we are aware that perhaps our insecurities have projected a world that maybe is not exactly how we see it, okay? We're at least becoming aware of that and then that opens up our minds and, say, and to say, okay, um, I'm just going to see what happens before I make up my mind about the situation, okay? Not judging a book by its cover anymore. Going through all the pages and then um, formulating our own opinion about what that is. And I feel like that's what the King of Swords represents because it's maturity, it is calm, it is balance, okay? It's not that the King of Swords does not have feelings. Of course he does, he's a very passionate energy, but he knows how, how it works, he knows how to use it. He knows uh, when to allow his feelings to come in uh, to help a situation and when to try to keep him under control because maybe they may twist or um, kind of fog up a situation, okay? And just look at pets, okay, is, is what I'm getting with this card. Just look at pets. They love you unconditionally, truly. Pets or children, okay? They are also um, the embodiment of innocence and unconditional love. And just being open, Okay, look at children. They're always curious about everything. And they always try new things. That's how they learn, okay? They wouldn't know that something is bad for them unless we told them or they experience it for themselves and then they come up with the idea whether or not it's good for them, okay? But they're, they are an open book and an open mind and an open heart, okay? They always try to learn new things. They always try to understand things and have fun doing it, okay? And I feel like that's what we are being asked to remember and to focus on uh, moving forward. And we may come up with a new personal truth. We may tell someone how we really feel about them because they need to hear it. And perhaps, you know, we've been carrying on with our own things and not really looking around us to see that maybe someone is in great need of hearing that someone cares for them, that they matter in someone's life, and that they're making a positive contribution, that they're making a difference. Okay, so it could be a beautiful weekend to show ourselves love and compassion and also to open up to those around us, whether we know them or not, um, and just tell them something nice, tell them something beautiful, tell them something that will make them smile. Okay? Um, and that's, I feel that's what the message is for this weekend. It's a beautiful, beautiful message, a wonderful reminder for us to practice empathy. And again, it's not easy, but it's very, very rewarding. Okay, um, this kind of practice moving forward in life. And it definitely is a weekend of epiphanies, realizations, expanding the mind, expanding, opening up the heart, and um, and growing as a result, okay? So it's a beautiful, beautiful message. So I hope that it makes sense. I hope that it helps. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you so much. Um, I appreciate um, all the support that comes my way in whichever form it comes my way. I truly do. Um, and, you know, I hope that this is a message that you can apply for this weekend, but also just from now on, okay? Um, and make it a beautiful weekend and make it a, a more beautiful life, perhaps. And um, just, a, just a reminder, um, I'm adding some links in the description box below if you're interested in a New Year special um, or the raffle, okay? Um, you can just check out those links. I'm not gonna go into detail again. Um, but yeah, definitely check out those links if you're interested. So I hope you enjoyed the message and that you all have, or we all have, um, 
a beautiful weekend beautiful beautiful is a beautiful world word um that i feel gets used a lot and it kind of loses its meaning or its intensity but i hope you have a beautiful weekend with joy with gentility with enlightenment and love okay so um thank you and i will talk to you soon take care